Welcome again to another tutorial on two-handed cuts. Today we're taking a look at Sybil cut and five faces of Sybil. I was a bit hesitant to teach you this move because it is not mine. It is Chris Kenner's and I have a lot of admiration for this man. Truly, most cardists have based their first creation on the Sybil cut. There's thousands upon thousands of variations of the Sybil cut. And I know there's a lot of resources now, even YouTube, if you just type Sybil cut, you're going to get a lot of tutorials. And my goal with this tutorial is to teach you um, hopefully the proper way to execute this move and to give you the tips to make it uh, a little bit more smooth if you already know it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let's get started. The prerequisites for this are the Z grip that you should have learned from the previous video and being able to cut on top like that. Everything else is going to be pretty new. So you're here, you get into the Z grip and you cut from top. From this position, you want to relax your left hand and let this packet fall in a very comfortable grip, which is this one. Once you're here, you're comfortable with your left hand, you're going to rotate your right hand downwards. Okay, but move your hands simultaneously, to follow each other, okay? Because if you just move the right hand, you're going to lose that middle packet. So you wanna move your hands together. And here, when you're almost pretty much parallel with the ground, with these three top packets, you're going to have the middle packet and the top packet from the right hand separate. And here you have a middle and thumb available from your left hand to grab onto those corners. Now this is an uncomfortable position and I'll show you different angles of that. But here you will want to lose this middle packet. Okay? So Pro tip, maybe practice with a deck of cards that's a bit older and less slippery. So you're grabbing onto this, you let go with the middle finger, but you keep holding on with your thumb. Uh, well, you're just kind of contacting with your thumb at this point, and then you're going to go forward, clearing that packet. Again, here you're going to rotate both hands in a way that the left moves to feed this packet, which is not held by a, um, a lot of pressure. Um, like it's pretty loose, so you really want to grab it as soon as possible so that you don't lose the cards. And here you have the three fingers that we saw in the previous video that are able to grip that packet. And then this is another point where it's a bit difficult. You have to clear that packet and just do this slowly. That's the tip I can give you here. And then from this point, you can repeat the pro process by dropping a packet afterwards and separating again. And then you can keep going until you have no more packets left on top. All right, let's pick it up from another, another angle. From this angle, what you'll see is that you are get into that Z grip you're going to rotate so that you can pick up that packet. You're going to move forward. That has cleared. Support yourself here if you need to, you could do that. And then the three fingers are clear. They're gripping here. And I just need to open it up so that it clears everything. And then I can rotate again. So my right hand goes down and my left hand goes up. I can pick up that packet and drop it. And then I can reposition myself in Z grip, open up with the index and do exactly the same move again until I run out of cards to do this. Let me try to do this again slowly, maybe from this angle. Cut, let it rest, right hand goes down, I grip this card, these fingers, like that, my three fingers are available, I pick it up, boom, 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 
And this leads us to the five faces of Sybil because one thing you could do is just do this move forever or not forever until you run out of cards from the top and from the top is from this packet because that's the packet from which you keep cutting. So let's get to that again. So you're here, you could just finish again and then no more cards, you just place everything back just like that. How do you get into the five faces of Sybil? You are here, you've gripped that. All you need to do is now grip another packet because now you have four packets from the middle packet over here that I'm pointing to right now. So I grab, separate, and again, stretch to display. And that is five packets that I'm displaying. Okay, and then you just bring everything back together to close. So from here, I'm opening up as before, and then I just reach out to separate, okay? So I got the separation and I just extend my hands. Now you have a very cool display of cards. Okay, it looks best from, from this angle. Then you bring everything back together. So you have a few ways you could perform this. Again, boom. The thing is also, when do you start the five um, faces? So you could start after you've done the, rot not the rotation, but the sequence twice. So that's once, that's twice, and then I go ahead and do it. I think this is the ideal situation because you want to get, I think it's cool to get that action of cards moving really quickly and then at some point you just pause and then this is where you get your separation and then you display. But you don't have to if you prefer to just get into the five faces of Sybil right away. You get into the five faces of Sybil. I don't know how to further break it down from here other than you are in so many grips and positions after this move. Even just I mean, after you've, you're here and you've dropped again, you're back into the Z grip and you could go anywhere from there um, because this is a very versatile position. I mean, you could switch to your thumb and then finish like this. Okay, let me show you again. So I'm here. All I have to do is switch this packet to the thumb, extend clear. And that could be the finish. Honestly, this is where your creativity and imagination will come in. So a good exercise after you've learned the Sybil cut is just think, when, when I'm back in this grip, what could I do? Could be finishing like that if it's simpler. So you've done that and then you simply again regrip and you've added an extra little twist in there. Get it slowly, proper, and then try to speed up or practice slow to music and then start to increase your speed from there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and keep leaving me suggestions on what should be the next Cardistry videos in the comments below. Thanks for watching.